What's up, DIY Simmy? Mm. You and your feelings today. You seem uh, uh, you having a moment like me. Yeah. Yeah, I like to get in there occasionally. I like to get in there occasionally. Uh may have to may have to answer the phone and scream at somebody in a minute. Uh don't worry, you'll all be privy to it. Um <laughs> I got I got nothing to hide over here. Are we um, gonna see dark dark side cash? Man, like I'm telling you, it's like it, 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 I'm not I'm not the answer for everything. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes sometimes you got to uh, you know <clears throat> you know grab a hold of your wrist with with the other hand and pull your thumb mm. out of your ass and and make it happen. Mm. Sounds complicated. Not my job. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, what's everybody doing? Everybody well, smash that like button. Uh, I like your I like your outfit there, DIY. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, couldn't have planned it any better, huh? We coordinate. Adco's in the house. Uh, One fifteen start time. Close. Close. Eastern. 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 I tell you what, it don't matter to me. Uh, hell, I could schedule a live show for six years in the future. And like about, a, about the time I get everything set up, somebody call me and be like, you know, okay, blah, 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 bullshit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Don's in the house. Don's in the house. Uh, Everett's in the house. Shannon Thomas trucking. Good afternoon. Thanks for showing up. Hilarious thumbnail. Yeah. We got Gomer Powell over here with us. Uh, that's the only reason I made that, so I could make you Gomer Powell. <laughs> hey, the singing voice of an angel. Bet you didn't know that. Uh, hey, you know what? He wouldn't. He didn't have it all bad. He was the one that got the spinoff. Yep, Gomer Powell, yeah. USMC, come on. Yeah, I mean, you would think that would be like an Aunt B, or you know, really, you would think Barney, right? Barney gets the spinoff. Yeah. He got three's company, um, so he, he did right for himself. Hey. How about that three's company? But, but uh, Opie, you would think Opie Taylor would get it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he was about an age where you think he would like, like Opie goes to college or something, you know? Like, yeah, it's called Happy Days. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. They did that one. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, this fucking life. <laughs> no, hey, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Uh, I was having an argument with my buddy the other day, and I said, well, if somebody said that to me, I would just, you know, I bid you adieu, sir. <laughs> like, right. There's no coming back from that, you know. Like, when you're right, you're right. Um, Sterling's in oh, the house. Yeah, we owe, we owe Sterling some airtime. I, I was talking to him last night, and we were going to be going live about a half hour to 45 minutes after him, and turns out we did Ooh. it right at the same time, and Sterling was uh, – was on a serious topic last night. I was just watching, rewatching his live stream here, and I feel bad for drawing away from it. Uh, yeah, but I, I had the drop on a Killian. <clears throat> you got to take that drop, you know. Yeah, He's yeah, done. no, no, it's all good. We'll th we'll talk about it some more. We back for some reason. My internet said, "Hey, uh, you don't want to be on the internet, do you?" You don't want to be on the internet, do you? No. Um, what is uh, what's Sterling doing today? I wonder. He's uh, shacked up in a hotel room, waiting for uh, to get loaded, or he's getting loaded right now. One of the one of the three. Uh, I shoot I shoot him a link over there. Um, let's see where that. That was an Amazon link. I was shooting him. Hey, you can use that too. Go for Definitely that one too. Use please. that. Click That's what I'm going to start that. doing from now on. Everybody's getting an Amazon link. I just need you to click <laughs> on it. Uh, invite guests. That's what we're trying to do. I'm all I'm all clerfuffled over here. Um, there we go. What was what was this important topic? People need to go watch the replay. It's about uh, it's all about having a stroke, stroking it. Oh man! What you what you need to know to save your life. Ah, uh, yes. It's kind of like on different strokes when. They have that very special moment when Arnold got touched by his neighbor, Mr. Carlson. You have to have a very serious oh. moment. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> they That's play the, the somber name. music. Yeah, yeah, wasn't that kind of was was that like a serious show or was that like that that particular uh, episode? Yeah, yeah. Why why they do that with that show? Public service, public service announcement. Oh, uh, watch out you. for watch out for creepy neighbor who tries to get you to take your shirt off. All Careful. right, I missed that episode. I missed that episode. How did he touch him? Well, he just got him to take some pictures. <laughs> Ooh, is that a bad thing? It is when you're 10 years old. Oh. <clears throat> Just saying. I mean, there was Just no saying. interwebs back then. You know, Polaroid was the only game in town. Okay, well, maybe maybe that freelancing work I did as a child wasn't so great after all. I thought I was going to be a model, but, uh, you know. Uh, if you got if you're gonna be an underwear model, you got to get down to your skibbies, right? That's what I hear. <laughs> this drug and life in the house ain't showing up. Barry's in the house. Hey, yeah, I'm down for some midday cash in Uh, yeah, we're talking feelings today, ain't we? DIY, we're talking feelings. Woo, yeah. look at him. Look at him. you got that bullet in your pocket. Mm hmm. Are you just happy to see me? Come on, Barney Five. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Cool truckins in the house. Channel member Kelly Patterson in the house. It says morning, everyone. Must be out on that West East Coastus. Yep. On the West East Coastus. Uh Barry says not totally comfortable with this video title though. Sounds suggestive. Yeah. Yeah. I won't I won't say F your feelings, but you know. I might, I might rub up on them a little bit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know. Uh, I might take some shirtless pictures of your feelings. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. There might be a special episode about your feelings for this. Is over with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me. Um. Grade 8 transportation's in the house. Why is my internet going so slow, dog? I'm running, uh, we got, we got, we got, we got decent internet here. It, it shouldn't be like this. Um, How's that 5G? How's that T-Mobile? Killing it. T-Mobile. It. It, it's killing it. I did a test on the phone earlier. It was pretty damn good, but this ain't looking so hot. This might actually be my computer overheating or something. It's not acting right on Oh yeah, we back. Aren't we? Are we back? Are we, we back? back? We back. Um, this is going great. Hey, I'm I'm killing it right now. People are <laughs> loving this. Um I don't ask them their opinion. I tell them what to think. Okay. Every time I do the test my internet, it kicks me off the internet. That's not good. Uh, gas man in the house with ten dollars. Come on with it with the ten dollars. Everybody needs to know what's going on with that. Says, uh, what's going on, kind folks? Sit down here in South Louisiana whipping COVID's ass. Come on with that. Get Good it luck. up. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. Uh, I sent Sterling a link there. We'll see. We'll see what he thinks. Uh, internet's at the uh, 21 megabits per second right now. So, Can you send Fate Truck in a link? Mm. As my English teacher would say, I can. Okay. All right. Hey, did you get a <laughs> did you get your backpack from Mudflap yet or did you get anything in the email or anything about it? Uh, have you? No, I did not. I assume it'll probably be about the middle of the month or so. Um, I assume they'd just ghost me. Like everybody oh. else. Oh, that's stone cold. Um, yeah, my English teacher in uh, high school, if you said, can I do something, you know. But yeah, I can do it. Don't mean I will. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where was that? Why? I'll tell you what. 
I, I will send him a link, but if he shows his legs on my show, I will I will officially uh, ban him for the rest of the week. Oh, so that's you were going you were going to anyways. That's true. That's true. I mean, if he, he might wants, be working. If he wants that kind of punishment, he can hop in here and let me know. If he can pull himself away from you know whoever else is live on the internet right now. He's sitting at a Love's truck stop. He got time. Ah, uh, he probably he probably over there watching uh, watching one of them other YouTubers. Who that? I don't know. Who else live right now? No, nobody that I know of. I'm just saying, like you know, that's probably what that's probably what he doing. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let's take let's get this background off of here. This background killing me. Woes is the internet. Come on, Boas. What are we doing here? Get rid of that background. I find those StreamYard backgrounds, but they really, they really hem you up. They do. Uh, <clears throat> where was I at? Let's read some comments. Let's see who all's in here. Uh, grade eight transportation. We'll be listening while on the road today, just like a podcast. I always say, um, with pictures, with moving yeah, pictures, like like a podcast with pictures. Um, three seventy nine, three seventy nines in the house. Anyone getting uh, five a uh, five five a mile with reefer? Come on with it. Um, no, I'm not getting. I'm not getting five. Uh, I fear the reefer come on with it. Uh, I am getting pretty good rates this week, though. We'll say that. We'll say that. Red Diesel Channel member in the house. Chicken uh, Hawk is here. Um, Shannon Thomas Truggan, I have no desire for reefer either. Yeah, that dango reefer uh, takes, you know, upwards of an hour to unload that freight. Urgh. Hate that. <laughs> yeah, I like to keep the. Uh, I like to. I like to perpetuate. You know that it's it's horrible. That way, less people won't do it. Because uh, during COVID, it was not that fun. I'll be honest with you. When everybody started doing it, uh, was, was not was not my thing. There's one Sterling. What's up? How we doing, kids? Uh, not much. I would like to say that uh, me and Sterling uh, have no beef. He can go live whenever he wants to. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, people, people think people think there's real beef there. Uh, I will say this though: there is a uh, apparently there is a dark blue colored shirt mandate on the show today. You, uh -oh. No, this is this is more gray. This is actually the same shirt I was wearing last night in the live show. So, oh, okay. you. Uh, how are you kids doing today? Good. good. So yeah, I went live yesterday because my best friend um, he had a stroke. A uh, couple weeks ago, and his one hundred and thirty thousand dollar career in trucking is now over. Wow! So, yeah, I, I decided, you know, I'd pay him some respect and just let people know about, you know, they they call it the fast rule. You know, face you, you look at the face if it's drooping, if it's going numb. Arms lift both arms if one starts to drift down speech if they can't talk they can't communicate and t is time you got to call 911 and get help as fast as possible because strokes if you don't treat them immediately it just gets worse that snowball's running downhill right yeah sorry to hear that so you're saying what you're saying is there's an opening at fedex oh there's always openings at fedex <laughs> sorry Sometimes my, I can't help it. My my, <laughs> my empathy is broken. I did yeah. feel bad for your friend though. That, that's what uh that's what all happens to all truckers. Yeah. Well, that's too bad, man. Hate to see that happen. Any, you know, we put a long, hard life in on the road here, hoping that someday we'll just have a great retirement, spend time with the family, and then some of us don't make it. Right, and he's he's fifty nine years old. <clears throat> and he's remember, when you're climbing into your truck, three points of contact. Uh, one on each foot, and one with the cell phone. Yeah. Does my private area count? 
I scraped mine, so yes. <laughs> Surprised it didn't affect my voice. I like I like to keep a firm grip on it at all times. <laughs> well, otherwise it'll get loose. Right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, who all's in the house? Shannon Thomas is in the house. Uh, what you know about her? Oh, she's doing a she's doing a little uh, trucker August challenge. What's um, that? Uh, basically, we're going to be uh, doing as many steps in a day as possible. From one from what she was telling me last night on the live, uh, she went a little bit robot mode, but she she promises to make a video here pretty soon because she's she's living up that uh, that hotel lifestyle right now. So she has time to make a video and. and talk about the uh the august trucker challenge or trucker august challenge I, I would like to promote my own august challenge uh everybody gets a uh, one of those things that measures your steps and we see how few steps we can take in the month of august <laughs> <laughs> can you get from your sleeper to the driver's seat without taking one three step? step yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i can okay. do it I'll have to edit out all the bumps in the road because mine says like every day, oh, you made it to 10,000 steps. And I'm like, I maybe got 500 in for the day. <laughs> right, right. If you got one of those Apple watches that counts your steps, uh, take it off your arm before watching porn. Ah. Ah. Now, I cheated. Good, good tip. strategy. I seen someone that uh, put theirs. Uh, on a drill one time to run the numbers up. <laughs> they, ran, they ran one of these challenges. So I'm just saying, Shannon Thomas, uh, if I if I enter the challenge, I will be cheating probably. Just that's, saying. Uh, that's an old, that's an old used car salesman trick. Roll back the odometer. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna Ferris Bueller this some bitch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'll take it down to Home Depot and put it on the paint shaker and come back two <laughs> hours later. <laughs> yeah. Um I've had to I've had to edit that out when I was like seriously keeping track of it. I would have to like get my log book out and edit, you know. Oh, uh, it's a whole thing, man. It's yeah. a whole thing trying to keep track of that in a bumpy ass truck. So People going to have some challenges. You know, when I first got that thing, I was like, wow, I'm at 8,000 steps already. And then I edited out all the trucking and I was at like, you know, a thousand maybe. Uh, right. You know, that's ambitious. Why so many? You need to work uh, some efficiencies into your life. <laughs> well, 200 of those was, you know, when I was throwing the refrigerator out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh, they say the average step count at the Tesla factory, you know, that Giga factory just outside of Reno, is 12,000 steps. You know, so a situation people, like that, you'd want them to you that's inefficient, right? Well, I mean, most people there are supervising robots and stuff and have to run wow. to the other side of the warehouse, and it's yeah, very interesting operation they have there. You would think they would come out with a Tesla golf cart and they could just ride back and forth. That runs off of bunker fuel. Birds <laughs> <laughs> use motor oil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's not even refine it. Let's just burn it straight crude. <laughs> uh, I could see that. Uh, Shannon Thomas, hit the like button. Yeah, everybody smash that like button for me if you could. Hanging out here with DIY and Sterling. If you don't know, they both got channels. Uh, possibly we could be uh, brothers here. It looks like maybe even triplets. Yeah, a red hat. You got a red hat, Sterling? <laughs> I don't know if I do. I mean, if he's got a red hat, we're gonna look like triplets that their mom dressed them all alike. We'll wait. <laughs> I might. This would be a great payoff. Uh, it could be epic. Two dollars just. I do refrigerated expedited LTL. The receivers are ready for me when I arrive and take it off quickly, but I do run the same route every week. There you go. There you go. Um, how's that refrigerated expedited LTL paint? I wonder. Damn it. That, that sounds expensive, doesn't it? Those words together. Reefer expedited LTL. Hey, close enough. That'll work. <laughs> Cause it's kind of like a blend. Cause I got the black bill, you know. It's uh, right. Mm. There we go. 
<laughs> Close enough. Uh, it paid off. It paid off. Yeah. Trifecta. That, and I'm pretty sure I just stepped on my headset, so. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. I didn't need to talk to anybody ever again. <laughs> hey, just, just hold your phone up to your head. I see it all the time. I, see it all the I time. seen a driver yesterday. He had he had two phones. He was trying to steer with one in his hand, and he it was holding on the other. Then he, then he was like, oh. That's the funniest wow. fucking thing. Jeez. Yeah. You can only hope he doesn't kill anyone when he crashes. What about himself? It's, it's like drunk drivers. It's like drunk drivers. They don't they don't ever die. That's true. True. It's true. This is true. Um, let's see here. Let's get some comments. Killian's is in the house. Uh overcast, little muggy, but nice. Yeah, thanks for coming back last night, Killian's like you yeah, promised. I, I caught a little yeah. bit after after I got done crying that you guys took all my life people I, I i watched your your replays it was pretty cool yeah i had uh I was, I was like a very uh rush situation i had you know i figured hey i'm going to the grocery warehouse we'll be here all day right uh, you know i found out that's the new key to getting unloaded quickly just pop on a live show and uh bring on some guests and yep. uh, you've done in no time yeah I, I set aside all night for killians trying to get him some sympathy and talk things through and he, he ghosted me for a, a a pork butt roast can you imagine that what he's like i'll be right back i gotta go marinate my meat and he never come back is that code for something yeah this guy gotta go roast. take some oxys and some percocets and <laughs> drink a bottle of whiskey and i'm out oh wait well you know he le- he left the banker gang the uh, biker gang and now he's a drug addict <laughs> That's how it happens. It's downward. That's the downward spiral. Happens to a lot of guys. Uh, Shannon Thomas says, I'm still in a hotel in Evansville, Indiana, till Thursday until further notice. Evansville, Indiana, fun fact, known as the uh, most obese city per capita. Got the highest body mass index of any city in the country. Come on. Really? It's all them. It's all them casino buffets. Mm. Moving there. Bump that average up a little bit. I, I haven't been to a buffet in Nevada in many years. Now it's it's so expensive. It's like fifty, sixty dollars a person there in Reno. What? I can't. I can't eat that much food. Die trying. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to bring my backpack with me and fill it up with chicken wings for that kind of money. Or do you like my mom used to do and have Ziploc bags that fit her purse? Yeah. yeah. Did they fit Smart. in your purse? Smart. Yeah. The rule is if you can carry it out, it's yours, right? Yeah. Just don't use your prison purse. Oh. Double, double bag it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to be sure to get the good name brand Ziplocs if you're going prison purse. Yeah. You definitely want the yellow and blue makes green on that one. Yeah. Because yes. everything's going to be brown. Yeah. Uh, Shannon Thomas got a 2019 Cascadia. She a beauty. Um, Killians, there he is. I need some of that schedule. I thought every time I talk to Killians, he's at the house or going to the house. How much better of a schedule can a man uh, get? I'm smoking brisket. Uh, I'm smoking ribs. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm smoking meth. He's always at the house. <laughs> a lot of smoking going on there. Oh. Uh, Love talking about people when they can't defend themselves. That's my favorite type, honestly. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, he says, I love Detroit. Well, I mean, if that don't get you first in line for a drug test, I never seen a qu- I never seen a comment that would. That's right. Uh, move you right to the front. I love Detroit. <laughs> Their crack is the cheapest around. <laughs> right. I don't know. Uh, is, is Detroit a sexual position? You might have been talking about that. No, by Detroit, he means underneath a Chevy pickup, looking up, screaming, ouch. Oh, he was talking about Detroit metal then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, man. You guys. You guys. Too soon? Too soon? No, not for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't think so. 
I got I got you zero go- pins in my hip, so no, not too soon for me. I have no broken off drill bits in my hip, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. Figure you're well enough to go back to work. You're fair game. Yeah. 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 When I go to a doctor, they don't speak to me in construction terms. That's right. <laughs> Oh uh, I man, he needs to get a Dewalt sponsorship on that drill bit. You know, like if you're, if you're gonna leave a drill bit, my hell, make it a cobalt. You know, That's right. just saying, just saying. Um, S pins, got to get the S pins replaced on passenger side. Need to replace AC condenser, replace bunk heater, getting fixed, diagnosing uh, results on everything else. I haven't heard yet. That sounds, that sounds like, like a lot of work. Hope you got a fat wallet. Yep, Barry's is definitely too hot outside to not have on the AC. Yeah, I should have set my AC up before I started this, but, uh, you know, hassles and whatnot. So, mm. uh, we here. We can, we can wait. Oh, we good. We good. Uh, Killians, he's five minutes late. Come on with it. Yeah, was out there, was out there herding cats. Uh, Chicken House says uh, has a video on it her first time in a pressure cooker. She didn't enjoy it. Uh, we talking about uh, we talk we talking about getting your truck in the shop. What are we talking about? AC going out. Yeah. Yeah, what Shannon's saying there. She learned how much our engines heat up the cab. Yeah, it's. Shut off a truck for five minutes and it heat sto- soaks all the heat from the transmission, yeah. the exhaust, and all that crap gets up in the cab. Oh, yeah, you sitting yeah. on top of a cast iron stove, basically. Um, yeah, I rode around one summer a couple summers ago with no AC, and uh, I was, uh, you know, I was, uh, I was laser beam temperature checking the, the plastic on the dash was like 120 degrees. So, and that was like in, you know, Kentucky. <laughs> I can't imagine being out west. I, I would just, I just pull over and have them tow it. Right. You talking about summers in Kentucky? I believe, mm. I believe there's a song about that. <laughs> By a very famous uh, country music star. Mm. Best at one of the best ever. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> take your word for it. Uh, DIY's got a T680. Nah, he's in his broken room now, it looks like. Fourth floor, Trump Tower. Yo, you in Trump Tower? Yeah. Uh, Mudflap sent an email that says a dollar three off to kick off August. That's a good amount off. Ooh. Uh, you know, like, they, they have not had, uh, well, nobody, honestly, has had great discounts here lately. Uh, when fuel goes down, the discount goes with it most of the time. Yeah. Uh, don't you mean Andy Griffith, Gomer Powell was Jim Neighbors? Come on with it. Well, that's right. Can't argue that. Can't argue that. Thank you, Sterling, for the five dollars. Just in case you guys are wondering how you get on the show, I'm just saying. Just gotta throw some money at it. <laughs> it's like it's like having kids, you know. You just gotta throw money at it. Uh-huh. You pay to play, pay to play. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The DIY paid me in shirtless pictures earlier. We're gonna have a we're gonna have an episode about it later. Yeah. Good times. Uh, uh, Dennis is in the house. What up, Dennis? What up, what up? Mark the mailman's in the house. Greetings from the dream team. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Smash that like button. Uh got Agco on that T Mobile. Yeah, T Mobile doing it, dog. We doing it. Uh it was a little lackluster there for a second. I don't know if that was my computer or the internet. Uh this computer likes to overheat. Uh let's see what we got here. We'll do an internet test. I'll show you what it's got. You're going to get disconnected. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's true. I got to stop messing with that thing. I need to turn off my phone, too. I think. There we go. Sterling just called Cash and DIY Sexy Ladies. Oh, yeah. 
That's how you know you've been trucking too long when uh, everyone to the uh, side of me here is sexy. You have, oh. you're, you have yourself convinced? Yeah. Uh, good news is Shannon had 260 miles till the warranty was out on that truck. So oh, maybe, good catch. Maybe, maybe some of it's called on that warranty. Be the way to do it. That's the way I would do it. That and I'm willing to bet that shop since it is under warranty is going to try to fix everything because they're going to get paid no matter what. Right. Yeah. Or they'll say, right. yeah, yeah, it's all under warranty. And then uh, three days later, call you up. Uh, sorry, man, we couldn't get this covered under warranty. Wow. <laughs> uh, I've played that game before. Mm-hmm. You just got to put it in the river at that point and go like, what truck? Yeah. yeah. I, never, I never had a truck. That's right. Yeah. Wait for him to pull it out back, sneak in, set it on fire, drive away. Yeah, no, you have the wrong number. This is Shannon Thompson trucking. <laughs> You're one number off. Uh, exactly. Gino says he just trucks so he can pay for his airplane. Damn it. Good times. Yeah, that's a way to do it. It's a uh, overpriced drone. See. You don't have to have that big a drone to make YouTube videos. Right. I got to get me a drone. Seems to be the way to go these days. Can you do some drone f- fueling footage? Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I can hang out and do that. I can do that. Uh, F8 just did post a video. Oh, I believe it. He does that. I believe it. Uh, speaking of videos, I got one coming out around noon time here in the West Coast. It's just me driving around motorcycle around uh, Walker Lake, Nevada. Did you manage to, manage to keep yours on two wheels? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and away from Dodges. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> yeah, don't don't try to go under them. I don't think that works out well. Top dogs in the house. He got 607 miles at 609 per mile. Direct shipper, one truck. How about that? There you have it. They say, they say it can't go. be done. Now get out of there at more than a dollar a mile. Yes. That would be the key. Uh, Barry says, uh, you know, F8 is down by the river having those sensitive thoughts. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh is there five dollar mile freight out there? Uh yeah. DIY, what was that load pan no. you turned down yesterday? No, you, he you says is that. there five mile freight out there? Yeah. Is there freight yeah, that goes five that miles? Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm deciphering because his, his last comment was talking about five dollar mile freight. <laughs> right. uh, what was that load you turned down yesterday? What was that thing paying, DIY? <laughs> Uh, fourteen hundred dollars on one hundred and ten miles. Yeah, so there's there's like you know, ten dollar mile freight out there all day. No, all don't go day. buy a new truck because one guy got that. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? That's <laughs> you get that on one load, you get it on every load. Uh, You've been doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, yeah, yeah. Sterling doesn't acknowledge his value. No, nah, I don't. No, nah, those those guys um, that run out west like that, you know, they they don't. Uh, I, I run a dollar a mile all directions every day. Nice. Yeah, that's what I would do. It's a great business strategy. You'll always have a lot of freight to pull. Oh, yeah. And let's face it, that's what it's all about. Got me a good <clears throat> siphon hose. Ooh. <laughs> you still couldn't get it on the dollar a mile these days. <laughs> That's the sad part of it, you know. <laughs> Free fuel wouldn't even do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, of course, don't don't tell that to the you know some of these big lease purchase. Uh, you know what was that one that used to do dollar a gallon uh, fuel? FedEx uh, used to do that, didn't they? Yeah, yeah uh, CR England work. had that program too, and they got sued over it, so they stopped offering it. Ah, nice. Chicken Hawk says, you the man, Top Dog. I'm only at 345 for 2215 on the miles. Come on with it. Very uh, good. Yeah. 
yeah, I did pretty good coming out, and then I did my standard regular load I always do going back. So the outbound is paying a little better. Uh, I was happy to see that. Happy to see that. Uh, call them bitty. Yeah, hey, I was making five bucks a mile on the way out. Five twenty a mile. Damn it, boy. Yeah, on a on eleven hundred miles. Ooh, take it while you can get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, made for made for a good week because I'd been coming out here for like. A, you know, like four grandish to come out here. So yeah, when they bump it up, you know, fifteen hundred bucks or so. Hell yeah, it makes. Because I mean, I was already doing it for four. You know, it's like it's the best thing I could find. Then out of nowhere, it went up on it. But you know, nothing's free in trucking. They added they added uh, an extra pickup and two extra drops on it. So, right, yeah. But the weight went down. I, it was a push. I figured it was a push. Um, day to day got spending tickets for sixty of them, forty five to cruise control, set of fifty eight, fifty five an hour speed limit. Little Wisconsin farm town, two houses. I have no idea what that is. Can I get the decoder ring that goes with that yeah. suit, that message? He was he was having a stroke because he got a speeding ticket. Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, don't be don't be doing that. That cuts into your profits for sure. Um so actually, you know, let's get on topic here. Today's show is based on uh I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube talk about the brokers are ripping them off. And <laughs> you know, that's kind of why I was talking about your feelings a little bit, you know, like in business, you got, you got to do it yourself. You know, you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta control. I always say control what you can control. And there's enough work there, you know, like don't be worrying about the things you can't control. The the uh, whole, the whole reason to be an owner operator or lease operator like yourself is you're eliminating the middlemen. Everyone's getting a piece of that pie before you. Yeah. You, know, you, you got to eliminate that. But you're not really. I mean, you're just changing who the middleman is, for the most part. You know, yeah. unless you're going to get in your own, unless you're going to get in your own deal, your own freight. Yeah, you're you're basically changing who does a lot of the administrative work, from people in the office to you. That's basically what we come. I mean, you know, it's a lot of people get hung up. Like uh, I think it was Landstar was the big one. People used to get hung up on the percentage. And I used to say, well, you know, that, that money's going to get taken either way. You know, it depends on do you want to do all that or do you want to let them handle it for you? you right. Know? Or you get or you get people that, you know, argue about, you know, I need a fuel surcharge on a friggin' open board load. I mean, oh, come on. Now. I, I got a guy that kills me oh. on that. Like every weekly recap, he's like, why don't you get a fuel surcharge? He's like, where I'm at, I get a fuel surcharge. And I'm like, good for you. I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> it evens out if you do the numbers on it. It's like, you know, he gets 100% of fuel surcharge and 75% of the load, you know, or rate. It's like, right. Do y'all, trying to, y'all trying to start a drama channel here, aren't you? Ah, yep. I saw, the, I saw this go bad in somebody's live stream the other day. Okay, well, Ooh. um, in this live stream, uh, I warn them. I warn them about their feelings. Okay, uh, carry on. <laughs> I don't. Know. It's uh, that, that's where I come from with it. You know, like oh, I, I, Sterling <laughs> taking a shot, taking a shot at somebody. What with that hat? I don't know what you're oh. talking about. Oh, that wasn't intentional. No. All right then. <laughs> so, uh, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Sterling's Sterling's throwing out press passive aggressive yeah, hat changes. It, it has to be ah, like okay. All right, I'm ready to talk now. Oh shit! I found that lot lizard STD at the pilot, right between the ho hos and ding dongs. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's where you will find that the back row. 
<laughs> who, who are y'all talking about? I want in on this. I don't know. I'm just laughing at Sterling. He's, 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 oh, silly. he's a silly, silly man. No, I'm not. Very serious. Okay. And, I, and I love him more every single day. Big <laughs> <laughs> trucking in the house. Against I'm going to sit here until y'all tell me who you're talking about. We were talking about fuel. We were talking about fuel surcharges. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, people all up in their feelings. The broker is screwing them. But you got to sit down and say, well, you know, what have I done to change too? Uh, right. Not every broker is screwing. There is brokers out there screwing people. There's also well, ones that the name hey, of the game though. You, you don't know? think brokers are cutting each other's throats right now, trying to take the freight out from under under other ones to you know to get the freight? You damn straight they are. You you think I'm not trying to screw brokers by getting as much as I can on a goddamn load? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I'll, I'll call in and say, hey, I got a deadhead, two hundred and seventy five thousand miles to pick up this load. I, I need some extra money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. I, I have feel, I have my Tesla. <laughs> and I what I'm hearing a lot now is oh, I'm just gonna sit home and wait this out. You mm. know, screw them. Oh what if what if it outlasts you? What if this lasts longer than than, than so you can? My buddy Richard right now is in Boise, uh pulling step deck. Right now the loads are absolutely obliterated. There's nothing there's nothing even showing till Wednesday. And he's he's thinking about waiting, and I was like, dude. No. And then he's got brokers back home in Reno that are paying five dollars a mile. I said, get out of that market now. Just go. Yeah. Don't, don't wait for it. At at a certain point you're hurting yourself. Yeah. Right. I, I understand like like Cash always tells me, you're gonna die on that hill. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I take it a step further. If they say they're gonna wait it out, I say just sell your equipment now and uh, you know, go down to Taco Bell and shovel some meat into some tortillas for all I care. Well, like, dehydrated meat. <laughs> With a little sand in it, you know, kick some dirt yep. in it while you had it. Um uh CPAP Trucker, you incorrect there. Uh Cash, you can't make money doing videos all day. Uh I don't know. We're Ooh. gonna try. We're gonna Some try. people do. Some folks do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hit me with a super chat. Proof CPAP trucker wrong. That's what I say. <laughs> some some Challenge folks make better CPAP. money doing that than they do driving trucks. Yeah, yeah, where's 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 Adam Bennett? Yeah, no That's doubt. That's the question of the I gotta, day. I got to get his personal number so I can call him when I go live. I don't think he's getting the proper notifications here. I'm gonna drive well, out to his house and knock on his door when I go live. Either that, or he needs to send you a W four. Ah, uh, no. Uh, Unless you're in California, it ain't going down like that. we can't ten ninety nine your ass. <laughs> yeah, YouTube's already got that taken care of. Um, he technically he technically he's giving money to uh, YouTube, so he can he can hit a, he can hit them with a W four. Yeah, that's uh, what thirty percent of uh, super chat goes to YouTube. Yeah, 40. bull of the woods in the house. Bull of the woods. But um, at least it goes to the propagation of free speech. <laughs> hey, I love it. I love it. Without YouTube, I wouldn't have none of this. Right. Right. Yeah, it's uh Although apparently yeah. I'm starting a podcast now. I'm just waiting for TBT to set that all up. Oh. Good time. Yeah. Sounds like a Sounds like a great one. TBT DIY live show. Can't wait. I mean, uh podcast. Can't wait. <laughs> With video. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um, I'm, I'm now getting loaded. Nice. It only took 24 hours. Killian Truggins loves your comedy, DIY. Mm. Laughter is the best medicine. You owe it all to me. Mm. <laughs> I thought Oxy Cotton was the best medicine. <laughs> Can't argue with that. I hear fentanyl ain't bad either. <laughs> George Wilson's in the house. What up? What up? Uh, he's going to buy a couple fanny packs. I would. It's the best way to protect your uh, fanny. You, know, you can 
turn it around, wear it backwards, protect your protect your other fanny with it. Yeah. You're at the manhole. Blue oyster. Oh. Kelly Paris says, I be on my way to Helena, Montana and Butte, Montana with a load of beer tomorrow. Ooh, heavy load through the mountains. Yeah, Nobody they feel on that one. And you're empty in Montana. They, oh, they thirsty on that one. <clears throat> he's, a, he's a company driver. He don't give a damn. He just oh, oh yeah, that's right. Whichever Forget way him. they tell him to point it, he point it. Yeah. He'll, he'll haul Pabst in any direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, Killian's, he agrees. Smoking meth. Figured him out. Figured him out. Block 18 was in here. I, I put the comment up there and forgot to read yeah. it. Yeah, the king uh, of Texas or king of Tennessee right now. Ah, uh, yeah, he's killing it over there. Barry says, don't be hating on Killian's because he can cook. Uh, Y'all jealous? Oh, I'm not jealous he can cook. I'm jealous of his prescription medication. Yeah. <laughs> and his non-prescription medication. He's taking a very happy vacation right now. Yeah. No doubt. Fake Jurgen says, boom into a towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Had to do if, if you ever hear somebody in the in the trucker shower yelling, boom, go get another shower. <laughs> oh, man. That guy. Is the guy in the middle a broker? Wonder who he's taking advantage of today. If you don't know who it is, chances are it's you. Yep. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Oh, oh, uh, oh, chicken leg McGee over there. <laughs> oh, man. He showed his legs on camera, put them behind his ears last night, showed everybody how flexible he was. Well, you have to be, you know, as much ice fishing as he does, you got to be very flexible. <laughs> <laughs> got to be limber on the ice. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, very limber. And Genesis agreeable. Polos. What's that? And agreeable. You can't argue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's going to happen. You might as well just get it over with, you know. That's the right. That's what it says over the ice house door, you know. Um, Shannon says it is all of it is warranty. Okay, all Good of it is times. warranty. Good to know. Um, yeah, sweet talk. We need a full service under the warranty. Yeah, you know, right before your warranty goes out, I recommend, you know, uh, break something, and take it into the shop and tell them your warranty's up, about to be up. Um, that that's when you tell the service manager your your feelings are hurt. You feel like everything on the truck is broken. Yeah, it's unsafe. Yeah. Tell them they made it unsafe. Oh, <clears throat> oh, we're talking keywords here. Uh, Eric's in the house. I'm trying to get out of Colorado, but the rates suck. Almost about the deadhead out of here. Uh, Mondays uh, are always tough in Colorado because there's so many trucks that already booked a load and they're they're out they're going so every wait. day's every day's tough in Colorado. <laughs> it is right. You can, you can wait until yeah. tomorrow or you can just go freaking find a better market. You can wait till some other new crop of something or other comes out of the ground. So Adam, do you think you know with everything slowing down and stuff, you know, are we going to see a lot more deadhead miles to to get loads? You know, as a general practice of the what we're doing i mean it depends on everybody makes their own decisions you know yeah uh, i don't know if, if you're having a tough time right right now i mean i, I don't sad to say i don't think it's going to get a lot better for you here in the next few months <laughs> holiday freight is already being moved I, yeah. I hauled, candy like I halloween candy is already there yeah, yeah. i hauled, hauled a bunch of christmas stuff to costco last week yeah I mean, I think the the, 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 Chris, the holiday rush this year ain't going to be there. True that. So let me ask you guys, if you were in Colorado right now, uh, which way would you start heading? Uh, if I ran into somebody wearing glasses like you, the opposite direction. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Can you take that yeah, comment down? 
I would go down to Albuquerque. There's always good loads down there. There's these are macho man light. Macho can, man light. Can you take that comment, Dash? For what? No, I gotta you see Sterling. Me, no, you won't tell me what's going on, so I, I can't I can't be part of it. All right. I'll have no part of it. Can you tell no. me what does what's going on in the in the shipping world today? Sterling. Oh, shipping world? Yeah, yeah. Well, Nancy Pelosi just landed in Taiwan, so bring the nukes. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I have no idea what's going Hardcore. on. Hardcore. Hardcore. No idea. no idea. Not even with these glasses can I figure it out. Uh, Alox is still in here. Wondering why everybody hating on Capstone. I hate them because of their convenience fee. Their yeah. stupid, dumbass $5 convenience fee for paying them with their own stupid app. And they won't take a check. They won't take cash. And yeah. you tell me how to pay it. That's non not convenient, and I'll pay it, and then you can keep your five dollars. True. That's your, and if you use their stupid relay app or you get the subscription, it's two hundred dollars a month. That ain't convenient. Amen. No, not at all. And then some brokers won't. Some people won't reimburse that five dollars. Why? Why do you hate Capstone Sterling? <clears throat> oh, they touch me inappropriately. Exactly. Been known, been known to touch it on the naughty bits and not in a good way. They're a little rough with it, I hear. Uh, yeah. Whereas, whereas Southeast Unloading will touch you very appropriately. Mm. Yeah. No, I'm going to tell you why I don't like Capstone. Because they're horribly managed. Uh, because they slow. They slow. It breaks stuff. They, How about the pallet bomb? How about the pallet yeah, grenade after yeah. every load? Oh. Yeah, they don't. They don't train their people to get off the forklift and pick up stuff when they run it over because they stab pallets with forks and then claim they didn't do it and then try to make it my problem because I got to deal with them. Hey, if you guys don't know, I got a Capstone Socks t-shirt in my merch tent. Go check that out. Uh, buy you one of those. Uh, wear it Wear it into the warehouse. That's what I like to do. Come on. Um, you know, a little... Have a little bit of that. You gotta love it when they when they run a forklift down the side of your trailer, or all the way right mm. down the wall. Oh, and either, yeah. either the wall. rip open yeah. a pallet or damage your wall. Yep. I love yep. that move. Pop, it's one of my favorites. Pop ever rivet out of the damn uh, skid plate, and then yep. proceed to drag every pallet up and down the rivets. Yeah. They, Fly into your trailer 100 cool. miles an hour on a wet floor and can't stop and put her through the bulkhead. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yep. And then after that, lift it up into the chute and drag the chute out the back of the trailer. <laughs> yep. Classic. And right after they hook the chute, they put the ass in into the wall and just reverse <laughs> high speed all the way out. Yep. Or, or do, do an Austin Powers and get stuck in the trailer sideways. <laughs> and, then, and then somehow hit my load lock that I set against the wall before I backed my trailer into the dock door. Like, yep. It's on the Every outside time. of the warehouse. How did you hit it? Right. <laughs> oh me. I mean, yeah. without going into great detail, Velox, that's just you know one reason why we hate Capstone. Yeah, that's where we start. That's a start, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks everybody for stopping by. Stavros in the house. What up, Stavros? Can someone please tell me why Capstone Logistics has the word logistics in their name? Uh, they do broker loads. I have pulled Capstone yep. Logistics loads before. Yeah, they got a brokerage uh, now. I, I've seen uh, they're in, I think it was Washington, Lineage has their own warehouses and trucking and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know the one that I think ought to be renamed is uh, PFG. There ain't no performance in that food group. I mean, no. No. They, ought, they ought to change it to uh, good luck with the rest of your day food group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call ahead because you ain't making it to that next stop food group. <laughs> is, right. is lineage called lineage because of uh, uh, the next 10 generation lineage of your family will still be sitting there waiting for that trailer to get unloaded? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> oh, wait. exactly. Is this for that? highbrow low quality humor comes in yes yep yes um mark ely's in the house channel member mark says i had a broker three weeks ago give me the rate kind for 9300 didn't call the day before i 
asked if I could do it for 6000 I also find short stuff don't cancel as much. Uh, come on with it. Yeah, the short stuff, come they're more desperate. It. They want that stuff moved. The longer stuff, they they can sit in a warehouse or wait till somebody cheap takes it. Yeah, I like, I like it when they're desperate. Come on. Hashtag Prama 2001. Oh, uh, wait. Why does everybody hate Capstone? Why do so many drivers and carriers complain about how much they charge their customers to unload the freight? Yeah. Um, I, I have an, I mean, I, I, one more thing to say about that. Back in the day, you know, 2000s, back, you know, 20, 15 to 20 years ago and more, it wasn't as common for places to be w as willing to pay for lumpers. So they would a lot of times expect the driver to lump that load. And when the lumper was charging three hundred dollars, they would pay you eighty. They, they're yeah. willing to pay the driver eighty. Uh, I don't see how I'm worth you know two hundred dollars less than a lumping service when I'm doing twice the work because I'm one guy and they got two or three guys on it. So that used to bite me in the ass. I've I've always hated lumpers. You know, I I shouldn't have to pay anybody. It, negotiate it with the shipper and receiver. Don't put me in the middle of it because honestly, I'm. I just want to drive a damn truck and find the next load. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds and like, sounds like Velox 18 sounds like might a, be working for, for Capstone. Yeah. I think he, I think he's took the Capstone, uh, he's vice Capstone president. Sponsorship. It uh -oh. is trucking with Velox and Capstone 18. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> just Don't kidding. be surprised. Don't be surprised. <laughs> next video sponsored by Capstone Logistics. Hey, I'll take Capstone's money. I'll take, they've oh, been yeah. racking up them convenience fees just for me. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, DIY, just to let you know, I'm going to go ahead and let you know right here in public. That way, if you freak out, you know, everybody gets to see it. But uh, uh, I took that pronoun money. Oh. oh no. I took that pronoun <laughs> money. He said, my pronoun is this. And I said, I give a damn what your pronoun is. Uh, did you check clear at the end of the month? <laughs> uh, I said the uh, hill I'm dying on is a, a mountain of money. Come on, <laughs> that's right. Oh my god, that's a great idea for a t shirt pronoun money. Yeah, come on. Uh, with it. uh, actually, it jokes on you if you go back about my last 20 videos. I already had that link in the description below my videos, I already got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I took that pronoun money too. Actually, I took it before he did that. I was already on that on that program. Nice. Before he, before he even sent me that goofy ass email. Mm. Mm. Well, you know, I really didn't think uh, I wanted to deal with it, but then I was like, you know, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? Because I've had that, you know, for like I don't know, a couple months. You know, they sent that, and I was like, yeah, yeah. I, you know, a lot of things I just don't mess with because I'm like. Is it really worth the hassle? You know, it's like how many uh, how many of them you really going to get? You know, um, uh, yeah, I got to get rid of some of them. Their morals. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've changed my name to Pro Town uh, Pronoun Money. If anybody needs to know, Cash is King no longer. It's now Pronoun Money. Uh, <laughs> Eric's been pulling that reefer trailer for a while. He knows about them capstones. Capstone often lies and adds restocking fees, etc. when the load didn't shift and makes me look bad to the broker. That's yeah. another thing they do. They destroy something, and then they make it your problem. Um, yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. Uh, the thing with charging, you know, uh, like, I know, I know you pass that on to the broker, but ultimately that hits the consumer, too. You know, like it don't hit me personally, but it does hit, you know, when you buy groceries, there's some capstone money in them groceries. So, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, my gosh. Yes, absolutely. I've been talking about that uh, a bit lately. There's this, we've paid some ridiculous lumper fees lately. And I'm like, you, you just got to be kidding me. Four hundred dollars for, you know, two pallets. I'm like, I, I can't believe the product is worth more than that. Yeah, yeah, I've pulled some freight like that too. You know, you you show up with one pallet, and it's like I had a load. It was like five stops, 
but the thing total was like 1100 on the lumper fees by the time I got done with all the stops. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. uh, you know, like, I mean, like a load of bread, frozen bread. I'm like, how much is that bread really worth? Like, so I don't know. The money's in there. The money's in there. Uh, Eric um, says, I would buy Cassius Capstone suck shirts and wear it in Capstone's office. Hey, I recommend everybody do that. Uh, Cap- Capstone don't care about your feelings. Mm, that's right. Why is that right. funny? Right. I got to start trademarking stuff. <laughs> just keep giving everything away. Did you start that? Yeah. Oh. Remember, I, I was trucking. Don't care about your. What did I say? Business don't care about your feelings. And then you went trucking. Don't care about your feelings. Yeah. Then I yeah. went. I, I certainly don't care about your feelings. Now yeah. Sterling says trucking or capstone. Well, don't capstone care about don't care about your feelings. Not only right. that, but uh, you know, it was on my live stream that that lizard sweat was invented. Mm. Lot lizard sweat. Well, Loyalty. It was, it was premiered there. In your. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Um. I thought Law Lizard Sweat had been in the makings for upwards of three days. <laughs> uh, yeah, you had 72 hours in that one. I had to I had to towel up some sweat back there, and I said, hey, uh, let, let me squeeze that out in a five-hour energy bottle. You know, the good news is, though, once you've been on them for a couple days, that bottle doubles as your pee bottle because you're going to be dehydrated. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> Relabel, recycle, reuse. That's yeah. right. Just saying. Yeah. Stavros, uh, I'm pretty sure the shipper and or consignee pays for the lumpers. Doesn't come out of the broker's pocket. Um Right, and ultimately it comes out of the people buying the groceries pockets. Um, if, if only we had a broker that we could ask that question. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to get through a few more comments because I got I got something to say, but I was just waiting. So, blast through the comments. No, you're yeah, right. How do you how do you know I'm going to read that comment? I don't. Uh, I'll just sit here is, with my. I'll just sit here with it? my heart pounding. Uh, Oser's Oser's comment. Oh, the chat jumped on me. Hang on a second. Ulcer, who the hell? But you don't want to jump through all. We got some good ones in between there. Mm, No, I got to I got it. I got to get to the one you need. Here we go. Uh, I will never understand why brokers charge a fee for issuing a check or some other form of payment for a lumper service. Why should I be a bank? For your customers. Come on. Okay. Well, a lot to be said there. First of all, it costs money to issue a com check. Uh, if uh, You could hold your own com data or EFS account and cut your own checks, number one. Number two, so that broker pays to cut that check. Uh, not $20, but, but there is a fee associated with that. Uh, number two, you're misunderstanding the relationship and your obligations. When that freight is on your trailer, you own that freight. A broker does not take possession of the freight. That's that's a legal thing. That freight, the broker, acts as a middleman between you and the customer. It is not his freight. He does not take possession of it. While it is on your trailer, you own it. That is why brokers do not prepay freight. They cannot prepay for something that does not legally belong to them. Brokers that are prepaying freight uh, are effing up like they cannot possibly understand. You're you're legally take, taking possession of that freight and hiring somebody to unload freight that does not belong to you. It belongs to you, uh, whoever's truck it's on, and it belongs to the shipper. Uh, it is it's they can't legally prepay that freight. They're 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 violating some laws and they're thereby taking possession of the freight and holding themselves resp- and they be, could be held responsible. So they they shouldn't be doing that, but they're not smart enough to understand that. You might not like it that you're involved in that transaction, but you have to be involved in that transaction legally, right? You're the only one that can hire somebody to unload that freight because you own it or your carrier owns it. Not saying you have to like it. doesn't matter. Nobody cares what anybody likes. It's what it is. So there's, and there's fees associated with cutting those checks. I when every time I cut a check for a lumper, it costs me, depending on which account I use, either five bucks 
Uh, EFS is a little cheaper, whichever method, if we just put it on the fuel card or if I cut a paper check, there's different expenses associated with that. So that's probably why they charge a number two. Uh, yeah, it, it should be between the, the shipper and receiver could arrange it between themselves, and they should. Uh, but it's in your possession. You own it. Doesn't mean you have to like it, but that's that's the fact of the matter. So that's that's why it is like that. Uh, I, I have somebody that emailed me had a very large freight claim last week, and I'm going to do a video about it. And, and I have to say things that are probably going to hurt his feelings. I don't I don't mean to, but there's a lot of mistakes made. Over the last couple of years, a lot of people got into this because of the money. They had no freaking idea what kind of responsibility or obligations you're taking on. You don't have a clue until it comes time to open up that pocketbook. You'll find out. So it's sad to say this isn't a thing where we just go out and make millions of dollars and everything is everybody else's problem. Should it be our responsibility? No, probably not. But as of the way things are, we, we have responsibilities. And. These things are going to start to show through now that now that as much money isn't there, the, the, the problems you have to encounter when running a trucking business, like people not paying you, people slow paying you, uh, freight claims, all, all kinds of things, because they're not as desperate to move the freight. They're going to be more particular. They're going to be more picky now. And these issues are going to come up. It's, it's just the way it is. This is the issues we've dealt with before the, the, the mad rush of the last few years. And this is the issues we'll deal with again. It's back to, it's back to actually running a, a business right now, and dealing with the issues that come with that, and that's not for everybody. And I'm not picking on uh, Oser or anybody in particular. I'm just saying that's, that's uh, that's what it is. You own it. Your name's on it. Uh, substitution of putting the the care the broker's name on the bill of lading does not release you from your responsibility of being the carrier. It's on the carrier. It's putting the broker's name on the bill of lading is merely for convenience. It's in the contract. So it's it's just what it is. That's our it's a responsibility that we have. All right, he got your feelings all hurt. Uh don't worry. There was a disclaimer at the beginning of the show. So uh <laughs> And there will be more of that happening because of the lawsuits that are that are taking place with things like A B five and um, brokers being held accountable for, for things that drivers and carriers are doing, like yeah, accidents. C.H. Robinson got hit for something yep. recently. And... Uh, there there will likely be less interaction between the broker and the driver and only interaction between the broker and the carrier, which is the way it should be because that, that driver does not work for the broker. Yes. Neither does the carrier. Nobody works for any. You're, you have an independent relationship with them. You have a contract with them, but you do not work for them. So the broker is not really there to instruct the driver yes. that should be all being done through the carrier now for tracking purposes just to, for location of the freight uh that kind of has to be but the rest of it is is going to change the smart brokers will change the way they do things or be held liable That's but everything, right. everything was so busy the last few years and just a mad scramble to please get things done Tons of things got overlooked. Tons of well, things. Just was, because things it was impossible to get everything done that needed to be done. But now they, they it's time to do things that way again. Sadly. Yeah. That's it's just it was way too easy the yeah. last couple of years. Yeah, and I'm just the messenger. I'm just telling you, that's just the the the, the reality of it. Uh that's the way it was okay. before. Yeah. So it just is what it is, as they like to say. Okay. Can you imagine what a price of a fresh turkey is going to cost this year? Ooh, can't wait. I'm going to raise some turkeys. I'm going to get the other side of that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Better start them now. Wait wait for beef. Oh, boy. They're starting to starting to cull those herds. Yeah, well, that's, that's just the way it works. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Stavro says we need to charge charging a middleman lumper service fees. WTF are we working for free for? Uh, because you know, I, I know you ain't gonna like it, but that's your obligation. 
We we are the handling fee. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I ain't saying that's right. I, I'm saying I disagree with you. I'm just saying that's what it is. It's our obligation. Is it necessarily the driver's obligation? Uh, well, no, it probably should be on the carrier. But the driver's the guy there, you know, pushing, you know, talking to the people. So uh, the, the lumpers most times won't let you settle things over the phone. Like I couldn't call wherever my driver is and say, hey, how about I take care of this fee with you? Then they won't do it. They don't. I, I'm not saying they handle things the right way either, because I, I don't think they do with their nonsense. But it's what it is. Brokers right. will will be the smart brokers will be further distancing themselves from the moment to moment operations of picking things up and getting there and getting them delivered. They have to. So it sounds like we're going more drop and click and email only. Probably. Probably. And that's, I mean, that's not good for us. As much as everybody likes it, it's not good for you. I like, I like ice cream sandwiches. They are good for me. It, it doesn't allow you to build relationships with actual people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you put, you get numbers put in, suggestive numbers put in front of you that, you know, you have no idea where they're at. Yep. But, and and you know, slow payment, non payment, freight claims, there's gonna be more. They just more they have factoring, time now. factoring companies having a little family dispute and turning page. <laughs> factoring companies are unregulated, folks. They have the you're probably gonna see more of them go, especially with the slow pay and no pay. I mean, they only have so much money, so much line of credit. Uh, get yourself a good fact. I'll, I'll, I got a name. Of, I'm, I'll put a name out there for people, uh, later on that of a, of a factoring company that is regulated. They're, they're with a bank. They're highly regulated. They're, they can make off with your money. Yeah. There's laws and stuff, but, uh, try to collect. You, you can win everything you want. Try to collect. Sorry, Cash. I mean, bump you out of your own live stream. No, you're good. I'm trying to deal with something. More uh, comments. Okay, here we go. Stavro says, of course, a shipper customer pays a lumper, but my point is that the broker has no problem getting the $1,000 payment, but fights drivers to avoid detention and layover. Yeah, shippers also fight it, too. Shippers and receivers fight it, too. Uh, it ultimately has to be approved through them. Trust me, I have these freaking conversations. They don't. <laughs> they might agree to something and then they're gone. It's uh, they they play games too. Uh, Stavros, the best way to fight all these brokers and crooked politicians is for everyone to park their trucks for a year or more. <laughs> uh, I I don't necessarily agree with that. Uh, you'll find out we don't have as much power as we think we do. Uh. They probably be happy all, about that. We're, we're all easily replaced. It would probably fit their agenda really well, actually. <laughs> they would probably really capitalize on it. Oh, the media would run with it and say, all these selfish crybaby truckers, look at them not wanting to do their cushy jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about we try to replace them with, oh, I don't know, something else. Or we'll just give away, we'll give out 150,000 K-1 visas or what is it, K K-2 visas? I don't remember. Yeah. I think the guy loading my trailer fell asleep. <laughs> Stavros had a hundred, an eleven hundred dollar lumper fee the other day. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I get it. It's a lot of money. They probably would have paid, would have paid you hundred bucks. That's for one truck that arrived that day. What if you know ten trucks made the delivery? Oh my God, that's, that's a ton of money. If you can't beat yeah. them, join them. Maybe we ought to start a freaking lumping service. Yeah. I've definitely thought about that. Hard to compete, though, because Capstone's pretty much got the stranglehold on everybody right now. Yeah. Russ, right. could you imagine finding help with nobody that wants to, people, nobody wants to work anymore, much less do manual labor? Yeah. You couldn't find help. Yeah, I wouldn't want to try to hire people to do manual labor right now, man. That's, uh, 
I don't even want to do manual labor. No. I need to do more of it. I'm getting a little soft here. Stop I, I, so by so by this logic we should charge an offload fee. Charge whatever you want to. Try to make them pay. I mean, if it's not agreed to ahead of time. Yeah, it's it's your invoice. Yeah, I mean, like I said, everybody, oh, I charge this, I charge that. We'll try to collect. Unless you agree to it, have it worked out. That's where coming in, you got to, you know, where it comes down to having your own customers. Hey, you can have those conversations, make those terms in your contract. When you work for a broker, you work under their contract. This is the way it is. Try try getting a broker to go by your contract. <laughs> Yeah, send send a broker a, a, your own carrier information pack, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, I ain't saying it's right. It's just, it is what it is. It's just the way the business works. Yeah. Who's got a good video on brokering? He's been through the freaking under-the-wing hands-on training. He knows how to book freight. He couldn't have had any better training on it. If you want a good video on booking freight, just YouTube TQL. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. If, you know what, though? If ever, Everybody's so mad at TQL, yet they still continue to call them, don't they? Yeah. Why yeah. is that? that I don't, I don't call people I hate. That's how you know it's an abusive relationship. You keep coming back. TQL loves me. Is it the battered spouse syndrome? It is. Yeah. Mark Ely got a big old T-bone for dinner. Damn it. He's Good got all the money. I've seen Cash um, has been making some ribeyes lately. Yeah, I cooked one uh, right before this live show. Good times. Becoming my new favorite thing. Hey, uh, DIY, you want to do a live on your show? Okay. What's up? I, I got I to gotta handle something real quick. It's going to take a minute, but uh, I can jump in here in a little while. Sterling, you I'll, come over? Yeah, yeah, I'll join you, son. Okay, I got nothing today. I'll need somebody to talk to. All right. Give me a minute to set it up. Thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah, just shoot me. Uh, just let me know when you go live. I'll just put the link in the, the in the comments. Oh, right. yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Uh, Finally, we got rid of that guy. Right. Yes. Man, geez, please. Yeah, Man, man these goddamn man. brokers yeah, complaining <laughs> about fuel surcharge. And, and and talking ill of Capstone. How dare he talk ill of Capstone? Terrible. Yeah. You know, honestly, I'm kind of glad people are smack talking Capstone all the time because um, I'll be honest with you. I feel like their freight's starting to pay better, and I think it's because of all the bad press. Yeah, it's, it's scaring them off. That's why I tell everybody, don't get into trucking. Don't buy a truck. Don't become yeah. a company driver. And if you have a truck, you can save the most fuel by not turning it on. Ooh. See, I think if you think a broker is ripping you off, the best strategy is to sell the truck. If you don't own a truck, you don't have to deal with a broker. Yeah, yeah, sell them trucks. Yeah. Put the broker out of business. Actually, sell the parts off the truck. We need parts out here. <laughs> park it, park it at a trailer park and strip it. All right, Mr. Cash. I'm out of here, brother. Good All right. Later. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry we got distracted here. Uh, it happens. It happens. <laughs> uh, Mark says, I'm stuck in Atlanta. Plenty of cheap. Looks like I'm bouncing out. Uh, did see a great load to Miami. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take that. Uh, Man, take that Atlanta Atlanta was on fire last week. It's, it's, it's probably just cheap loads out there right now. Yeah. And stay away from Miami. Oh, yeah. Not unless you want, unless you want a Cuban sandwich and complain on the Asian Maya trucking show, oh. he's there at the five nine five. How did that? How did that go for you? How how was meeting that guy? It was it was a lot of fun. He was the inspiration for me to get more serious about my YouTube channel, and that's I, I like that guy. I think he's probably the best ambassador that we have for the trucking industry. And sure, he does have some videos that are you know clickbaity and stuff, but you know that's the YouTube game. You you. 
you play the game and but he's right. getting eyes on it on an industry that a lot of people like anytime one of my friends goes my mom doesn't understand how much money you guys are spending on fuel i can share an asian my i can yeah. share your channel you know and 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 Ooh. and it helps people they're like who's that hebrew from tennessee trying to tell me to make ten thousand dollars a week yeah <laughs> drinking drinking lot lizard sweat and passing out <laughs> stds <laughs> i would not recommend it the only truck driver with a generator for an onboard still oh exactly speaking of that i gotta get my generator going it is hot in here I had the windows yeah. down. I thought it was going to level out, but it it is not leveling out. Yeah, I'm I'm facing the sun myself, and the, it's it's not overcast anymore. It is a balmy 97 degrees in uh, Modesto, California, right now. Modesto, not a bad place to be, though. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, you like out west anyway. See, I'm I'm not a I'm not an out west type of guy, but. Uh, I don't like the heat and I don't like mountains. So, uh, well, if I didn't live in Nevada, you know, I'd, I'd be definitely in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not, maybe not, uh, Minnesota for me, man. Minnesota's a little, uh, it's a little expensive. A little expensive. It's getting there. DIY's got his live show set up. Let's see what he's got going on here. Make sure I got my volume down. Yeah, DIY is live. Good. I'm going to bounce out and, and get my laptop set up, get the air conditioning going. All right, man. We'll holler at you later. Thanks, All everybody, right, for stopping by. Uh, let me see if I can get you a link here. Where's my link at? Where's my link at, DIY? Let's see if I can get this. Come on with it. Mm, 51 watching everybody go over to diy leave him a heart emoji let me see if i can get a link for it mm, copy link copy link copy link address there we go there we go here we go there you go everybody smash that link right there and uh, see what happens. See what happens. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by and watching. Sorry we had to cut it a little short. I guess hour 20 ain't really short, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it later. Thanks, everybody.